Hello friends, today in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to assign the components in Revit architecture like furniture components, sitting area, sitting components, beds, uh, lighting systems, uh, mirror, TV stands etc and all that. Okay, so for that if you see on the right side we have your project browser in the project browser we have two floor plans ground floor and the first floor okay so right now I am in my right now I am in my first floor or ground floor plan okay so in the ground floor plan I have so one room okay so for that room I have given some windows over here okay some windows I have assigned wireframe mode okay so some windows I will assign I have assigned here and we also have here one store uh, storefront wall here okay so if you check the 3d view 3d views like this now for this room what we have to do we have to assign some components like table one bed and tv set or like a fur. okay so for that what we have to do we have to go to ribbon and the ribbon we have to select architecture and in the architecture tab we have to select the component and below the component we have aroma click that you will get two options place a component model in place place a component means we can uh, select a ready made component in model in place we can make or create our own component okay but right now what i will do i will select here place a component when i click place a component i'll in the properties palette i will get the default component loaded a desk 60 inch by 30 inch okay now what i will do i will place this desk in our room move your cursor wherever you want to keep this table okay desk after keeping the desk now we will go to 3d menu and we will check how it looks okay the face of the desk is on the either side okay so what i will do i will click on the table and i will rotate it through modify furniture command in the modify section I will select rotate command okay I will click on rotate command and now I will rotate the furniture component okay now it's been rotated so I will check in the 3d menu it will look like this now this is for loading a default component but now we will see how to load different kind of components so for that again go to our ribbon in the ribbon architecture tab okay then select component here uh, uh, click the arrow mark below component okay so we have two options place a component we will select the place a component option in the modify place component we will select load family option okay so in the load family option what we will do here we have a lot of options so from this option we have to select furniture below fire protection we have your furniture click on the furniture you will get these many options bed, sitting, storage, tables, mirror, ellipse, TV flat screen, TV stand so from this we will select one bed first option bed box we will select so for the selecting a bed box we have to click on the bed box ok then after clicking on the bed box what we have to do we have to select here at the bottom area open when we click on open our component has been loaded for checking it whether it is available or not we have to go in properties palette by available in component section okay now we have we got our bed box in the bed box we have three different kind of beds double queen and twin okay now we'll select here the second one option queen bed okay now after selecting the queen bed we'll come over we'll come over to our room and now we'll move our mouse and we'll place our bed here okay now after placing the bed we will check how it will look in the 3d menu so this is our 3d model for the furniture components now if you want to increase the size of the bed so what we have to do we have to click on the bed we have to go in the property palette click on the edit type and you have your length and width now if you want to increase the length you can increase the length or if you want to increase the width you can increase the width width we have your 5 feet so what i will do i will change this 5 feet to 7 feet and this length I will change from 6 feet to 8 feet and I will apply here and click ok now your bed length width has been increased we will check this in 3d menu so this how it's look ok friends now we will load some different kinds of components what we have loaded ok so I will select here the next one the entertainment center 
of 96 inch by 84 inch by 60 inch and I will place it near the bed ok now again lastly I will gonna select one mirror of the ellipse shape ok so we have your last size 24 inch by 48 inch I will select that one and I will place it on the wall now we will gonna see this in the 3d menu so this is our entertainment center and back side that one we have mirror and again I have assigned one more mirror now if you want to increase the height of the mirror so click on the mirror and go to properties palette and you have your elevation so click on the elevation and edit the elevation from we have your 2 so I will change it to 6 feet and I will gonna apply so after applying if you see our height has been increased further elevation or height further mirror has been increased ok friends so this is the procedure of assigning components if you still have any doubt you can ask us in the comment section okay if you like our if you are liking our tutorials then please share and subscribe we are waiting for your response thank you once again for your encouragement and for your support bye